scene opens up to the game being played in the background. Each time one girl steps forward, the game continues to be played. I never thought our team would make it here. I mean, we're from East Stone Gap, Virginia. Have you ever heard of East Stone Gap, Virginia? I wouldn't have, except that I live here. The team we're playing, Coburn, was much bigger. If you ask someone from the east side of the state, if they knew Coburn, they would most likely say they had. But ask them about East Stone Gap, you would get blank stares. My real name's Amelia, but that's also my mother's name, so I go by Nancy. I'm not sure which one I like better. My whole life I've been Nancy. I'm 17 years old, and I've also never had a boyfriend. Oh, there have been several boys that have caught my interest, but none that have found interest in me. I've lived on a farm my entire life. I have four brothers, and my youngest and the only girl. On our farm, we mostly grow corn, but we have a few other vegetables thrown in there, like tomatoes, carrots, and asparagus. But those are all mostly just for our family. We rarely go to the market to buy anything. Almost all our food comes from around our farm. We have some cows and chickens, too. My sister is two years older than me, so I watched her play on the team when I was a little younger. I thought they were good, but state championship ready? I never really thought of that. It's not that I don't think they could do that. It just never even crossed my mind. But here we were, playing at the state capitol. Do you know this is the farthest I've ever traveled? I'm 16 years old, and the farthest place I've ever traveled is the state capitol. My mom died when I was seven. She used to love basketball. She would sit and watch my dad and brothers and sisters play basketball for hours, back when she was pregnant with me. She would sit on the back porch and watch them as the sun would begin to set. I guess that's why I love basketball so much. It was ingrained in me. My mother fed it to me like she gave me food and water. She fed me basketball. I love people. I love caring for people. I love talking to people. I love watching people. When I was five years old, I knew I wanted to be a nurse. And that dream has never been diminished slightly for the past 18 years. This game is significant, yes but I'm more concerned about nursing school in about five months. I'm going to move away from the only home I've ever known. I have to live with strangers. My grandparents live on the farm next to us. Every day when I get home from practice, my mom, my grandpa, and I sit around and knit. I love that time together. And then my brothers and my dad and my grandpa come in from work and outside. We'll have a piece of pie together while my grandpa reads from the Bible. My favorite Bible story was that of Ruth. She was such a brave woman. I hope I can grow up to be like her someday, or even today. My mom keeps telling me to dress more like a woman. She tells me all the time, real women don't, don't wear pants. In my day, it was unheard of for women to wear pants. Real women wear skirts or dresses. Believe me, that's what the boys like anyway. Do you want to get married? Well, then wear a skirt. To be honest, I hate skirts. They make me feel uncomfortable. If I could wear my basketball shorts all day, every day, I probably would but that would kill my mom for sure. When my mom died, I used to just play with the basketball for hours. It was my only release. Sometimes my dad and my brothers and my sisters would play with me, but I kind of liked it better when I was by myself. It gave me time to think, time to process. I don't know if I ever got angry about my mom. She was, she was really sick at the end, and I hated watching her lay in bed and cry for hours. The doctors told me it was smallpox. I had no idea what that was at the time. All I knew was that it made my mom hurt and cry. Nothing made the pain better. Do you know that I haven't had to make a new friend since I started kindergarten? That was 12 years ago. I haven't had to make a new friend in 12 years. I do love people, but I love people that I already know. It'll be okay, I guess. One of the girls that I'm graduating with is going to nursing school with me. That makes me feel a little bit better. But even thinking about nursing school, I can't take my focus off of what's happening in front of me. Oftentimes we see brave people in extraordinary conditions. But I truly believe that it takes courage to do simple things in life sometimes. It takes courage to get up in the morning, to go to school, to make friends, to be yourself, to stand up for what you believe in, to be optimistic, to play basketball. Toward the end, I sometimes pray that God would take my mom. I just couldn't bear to watch her anymore. I never told my dad that. I was afraid he'd be mad at me because eventually God answered my prayer. But I knew it hurt him to watch her, even more than me. Did you know that when I'm nervous, I ramble? 
It helps me keep distracted from what's really going on, which is 10 seconds left in the biggest game of my life up to this point. Yeah, I guess I'm a little nervous. But win or lose, I guess we'll know the champion in about 10, 9, 8. My dad didn't really like the fact that I play basketball, but I'm good. I'm really good. And my dad has learned to enjoy watching us. He's in the stands right now cheering me on. I can almost hear his voice above all the others. He's watching me, my family is watching me, my whole entire town's watching me. I hope I don't mess up. Well, my dad never remarried. He was too busy working around our house and raising my brothers and sisters and me. Sometimes at night, when all of us kids are asleep, I would listen to the sound of my dad playing basketball. I guess he was doing the same thing I used to do, play basketball just to think. It's just too hard to just sit and think, but with basketball, you feel alive and it's easier to process. There's 10 seconds left. There's this girl blocking me and I can't see anything. <coughs> no shirts or skirts, skirts is going to help me here. And they're definitely not going to help us win the game. I guess all I can do is try to move around her. Barbara's got the ball and she might pass it to me. I've got to do something. But win or lose, I guess we all know the champion in about 9, 8, 7, there are seven seconds left in a game that none of us thought would actually happen. Yeah, we were having a great season. We were playing good. We were going undefeated. Although most of us allowed ourselves to think about it, nobody even uttered the words of state champion. That was too much. At least for East Stone Gap, that was too much. Barbara passes it to me. I look to the hoop. I want to win, but I'm nervous. I've got to find courage. I've got to be my best for my family, my team. I've got to at least do something. But when I lose, I guess we'll know the champion in about eight, seven, six. Well, that's why I love basketball. That's why I've played all these years. And that's why I want to win. For my mom, of course, but mostly for my dad. To prove that basketball does something to somebody. It did for me. And I know it did for him. We need to score this basket. We're down by one. We need this basket. We need it for my dad. I watch as Lori gets closer and closer to the net. I'm silently praying that she makes it. I need this, not just to say I'm a state champion. I watch it as, it as if it's all in slow motion. She takes one step, two steps. This is it. I guess we'll know the champion in about seven, six, five... But here we were, with five seconds left. Lori was moving towards the hoop. One of the other girls goes to block her. She's trapped. She passes it off to Donna, and Donna catches the ball, and you can read it all over her face. She wishes she was, the, she was not the one person who, didn't, who had the ball, because now it's all her. She doesn't have time to pass it to anyone else. Either she scores or we lose. The time's ticking. This is it. I guess we'll all know the champion in about five, four, three. The game ends, and everyone moves off stage. Scene changes again to one solitary person on stage.